Hi Scorpio. We're going to do your February 2020 reading. It is general, so keep that in mind. It may or may not resonate. Just take whatever messages do. I'll link what I'm using in the box down below. Um, I'm going to call this your spiritual tea reading. Scorpio, you have self-love as the first card out. So you guys could... Um, You could be trying to deepen your self-love practice this month. Or there could be issues surrounding self-love and self-worth here. You have Pleiadian that came out. And it says at the bottom here, crystals, red agate, morganite, blue apatite, and celestite. So those could all be beneficial crystals for you at this time. And with Pleiadian here, so some of you guys could have um, your soul could be from the Pleiadian star system. Um, maybe some of you watching have features like the people on this card here, the blonde hair, the light eyes. That's for some. Um... You have God's plan. Okay. I'm also getting with the Pleiadian here that you guys could have um, other guides, like guides in different star systems that are also um, looking after you and overseeing you here on Earth for your life's journey. You have celibacy at the bottom of the deck here it says be cautious who you share your energy in the bed with practice celibacy is celibate desiring to be celibate so any one of those sentences statements there could apply to you could resonate with you um you know whenever sex is involved sex is a sacred energy exchange so of course it's always you know not just for physiological reasons, but for spiritual reasons as well. Um, it's just always good to really take caution with who you're laying down with or exchanging energy with because, um, you know, through sex, that's how people can swap, um, you know, like their, their, their demons, so to speak, onto you. Um, some of you guys are celibate, you are wanting to be celibate, you have really no desire to really be with anyone in that sort of way right now, because you are practicing your self-love here. Um, you are deepening your self-love practice. Maybe for right now, um, you're just wanting to be alone, you're just wanting to be independent, you're, you know, you're, you're just wanting your, your own energy your own company right now. I'm getting that you guys are putting your focus back on yourself. Um, and you guys are really trying to surrender to God's plan, to whatever, you know, God has in store for you or the universe or whatever you would like to call the higher power. But you guys are surrendering to, you know, the plan that you've laid out before you incarnate it here. You guys are just surrendering, like, what what is meant for you. Some of you could be doing some praying or contemplating or reflecting a lot. Wow, okay, so Scorpio, you have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So that's cool, because that's kind of, what is your soul calling you to do? You guys, like I said, you could have guides that are trying to tell you to answer the call, you know, ans answer the call that God has or spirit has on, on your life. 
You could be, you know, answering the call to your soul, like your soul is speaking out to you. It's giving you kind of like intuitive nudges, feelings of, you know, what it is that it came here to do. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So they're telling you to answer the call because you are supported. You're always supported. You will be supported. You have yes. Just say yes. So you might know what that pertains to. But I do get the sense that you guys are answering the call with this yes card here. You've heard the call. You're hearing your higher self. You're hearing your guides. You're going to trust your path. You are trusting your path. Wow. Look at the bottom of the deck, guys. You have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. <gasps> wow, you have soul family underneath that. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. And this is your soul family right here. They're coming through. This, this Pleiadian card. You guys have... Pleiadian soul family. Or you have Pleiadians that are in, that are a part of your soul family. So you could meditate um, <clears throat> upon the Pleiadians, try to communicate with them. I do get the sense that they are definitely wanting to communicate with you this month. They have been trying to send you signs. But yeah, you guys have quite the the team behind you that's helping you and standing beside you so you know some of you feel like you're doing this all on your own you're not because you do have helpers in another realm and you know you could even have animal spirit guides as well helping you because there's animals on the card too so um Wow, yeah, just know that you guys are very supported. Um, that's a lot. Can you take all this? I don't know. I guess we will. Um, <clears throat> you have lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. You've done this before. Cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Karmic relationships. Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. So you guys could have went through a karmic relationship that felt like... It felt like it cracked you open or you felt like this person cracked you. Or you definitely went through a conflicting karmic relationship recently. Or if it wasn't recently, it's it's still it still might be on your mind. Um, you have a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. And messenger, serious energy. So from like the serious star system, um, bringing harmony and balance. So you guys are just really focused on um, just being balanced. You're really focused on just keeping positive energy. Um, oh, you have big picture thinking at the bottom of the deck. Pleiades energy. So here we go. Some more Pleiades energy. Visionary inspired ideas. So you guys definitely have a vision in mind, a goal in mind. Um, 
and you are definitely answering the call by going after this big grand vision that you have and it is happening they're telling you to keep holding the vision because it's happening you're manifesting it and your guides your soul family is helping you so don't be afraid to meditate and to and to reach out to your soul family and your your animal spirit guides as well because they are around you right now they are trying to send you messages they are trying to send you signs and synchronicities they're trying to get your attention they're trying to help bring you harmony and balance um some of you guys you have been hearing the messages from them um, some of you guys could also be getting messages maybe in the 3D realm as well. Maybe um, this month you find yourself exchanging a lot of messages with people around you or being talkative. Um, yeah, but you're definitely, your soul around this time is definitely starting to to remember why it's here and what it's meant to do you're coming you're coming to this to this realization some of you are starting to trust the path that you're on You have number five, clear out the old. Ooh, there's an owl on this card. I don't know why I'm so drawn to this owl, but an owl could be significant for someone has an owl spirit guide. Um, let me see. So number five, it says here, whatever you are experiencing now is a creation that you have brought into existence from past thoughts and feelings. While in this moment, it may have caught you up. Oh, while in this moment, it may have you caught up. You can let go and begin to dream of a new reality. Let go of the aspects of this creation that no longer serve you or have a purpose. Release what has gone wrong in the past. Release also any material possessions that do not serve the new dream you now want to create. Know that where you are now, you can create anew and begin again. Exactly. So just keep holding the vision. I'll read this one too. This is at the bottom of the deck. It says, number 15, catch your breath. It says, take a break. Enjoy a quiet period. This time, oh, it says take a break and enjoy a quiet period. This time can be used to regroup, recover, and stabilize yourself. It is wise to keep in mind the fact that this is for a limited period of time. You are pausing to regain your footing. As you evaluate your environment, check to see if you need to clear any ill will with anyone. Ask for forgiveness so that ill will could be clearing out the old as well. Ask for forgiveness and be willing to forgive as necessary to move forward. Enjoy this downtime. Acknowledge the importance of recharging your energy so you are refreshed and ready to tackle life and any challenges that come your way. And... I'll get a card from this deck as well. You have surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. And you could also be overthinking about the, um, you know, you could be overthinking about, about this big picture idea that you have here. About answering this call here. 
Some of you could quite literally be getting like a phone call or like a message here with answer the call and message. Some of you guys, your self-love practice um, includes being celibate for some. Some of you guys are wanting to, you know, honor your spirit by being um, celibate. Or you guys could be, you know, researching into, you know, the more spiritual aspects of celibacy. Um where you guys are just being more cautious in general. You could just be finding yourselves being very cautious. Or you could be cautious with how you're moving forward towards this big picture thinking. You know, this 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 big grand idea that you have, you guys are moving cautiously. Um, and maybe when it does come to a karmic relationship, not all of you could be dealing with the karmic relationship. Maybe this is just for some. There is a need for you guys to pause and just take a break and just catch your breath when it comes to this karmic relationship you know just just give yourself a break from thinking about this karmic situation um because this obsessive thinking i feel is unintentionally causing a a blockage an obstacle here so you know just try what you can to not really think about this so much and just just really focus focus on you and what and what you're building for yourself because that's what really matters here um <clears throat> anyway we're gonna get cut off so 